Transformers was a milestone in pop culture and definitely a highlight of the 80s. It all started with a cartoon show and a line of action figures, robots that transform into vehicles and sometimes guns. If it's true there's an eight-year-old boy inside every man, then Michael Bay's version of Transformers is just the ticket to bring the kid out. and I am excited because my mom and my little sisters are here. Thanks. 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 Oh, it's magnificent. It really is. It's, it's, a great, it's a great experience. It's an unbelievable experience. You go see it. You'll see. Michael Bay is so known for cars and what he does in action. We wanted him to come to Rhode Island and really understand what the mythology was of Transformers. So we went through the whole mythology and the Autobots and the Decepticons and Cybertron, the whole story. And I think Michael really got it when he put together his love of cars with this idea that these were these sentient alien robots, good and bad, that came from Cybertron and had this secret war on our planet. I think it just it sort of exploded in his mind the opportunities and to make this absolutely real. I think actually the only real Transformer is Michael Bay. I think at night he peels off his face and it's like a, it's like a Borg or a cyborg underneath there because he's thinking about everything so much. He's got everything locked up in his head, all the shots, all, all these planes, Cobras, um, helicopters, everything flying around and he knows everything at all moments. I don't think he sleeps. We were fans as kids, you know, we played with the toys, we'd come home from school, we'd watch the cartoons. So we had a lot to draw from. And I actually heard you even had the undies. Is that Under true? Roos. Under Roos. I have the undies now, actually. I should have brought them. But you know, you gotta learn everything and then forget it and figure out how is it gonna be a movie. I saw the movie in a small screening, John Voight sitting right beside me. He's throwing punches at the screen, he's so excited. He's like, oh my gosh, I hurt. Now when John Voight does that, I mean that is a god of actors. When John Voight does that, you know it's pretty darn good. I play uh, Sergeant Donnelly, I'm one of the Army Rangers fighting the Decepticons to save you from a fate worse than death. <laughs> well, we homies, man. <laughs> What's up, yo? This is Apple the App from the Black Eyed Peace, and you're watching Hollywood.com. Hi. So I think it's going to be just a great thrill ride with a lot of scary moments and a lot of laughs. and. Um, some really solid performances. I mean, Shia is just, he's a brick, you know? He just really is beyond his years, and, and uh, he's really, uh, he's a cool guy. And there's something in it for girls. This movie is not just for boys. There's a great story of a young guy who's sort of this lovable loser who gets his first car, and he just happens to find out it's an alien robot from another planet. And he's trying to make it with this really hot girl, and. Of course, there's more to him than meets the eye, and there's more to her than meets the eye, and there's more to the robots than meets the eye, and that's sort of the whole idea of the story. The technology was there, we knew, to, to make the action scenes almost a given, you know? So the question was, who are the human characters in this movie? Because the humans are very much the point of view of the audience. And that was a, that was a challenge, you know? There, there weren't really any human characters we could look to in the, in the comics and in the mythology that would make the movie work. From the Transformers premiere in Westwood, I'm Kimberly Lansing, signing off for Hollywood.com.